Hi all. So today we are going to start our third module. So uh, in that we are going to analyze the errors that happening in the control system. Okay. Uh, so the first we are going for the steady state error. Okay. What is steady state error? Normally the steady state is error is the value of error signal e of t normally we will represent the error as e okay e of t okay when t tends to infinity so this is the value of the error signal e of t when t means time t okay t means t is equal to time when time tends to infinity okay and actually it is the uh, measure of system accuracy okay so mainly these errors arise from the nature of inputs one reason is nature of inputs and the depending upon the type of system we are using and the non-linearity of system components we are using okay so the steady state performance of a stable control system is generally judged by its steady state error okay so uh, we will mainly look into what will be the steady state error if you are giving some standard inputs like a step ram and parabolic okay so here uh, this figure you already know that is the closed loop control system we have learned in the previous modules so here r of s is the input and uh, e of s is the actual error signal here okay so we are going to analyze this error signal and c of s is the response that is our response and h of s is the feedback gain okay so here, uh, if you want to write the equation for this E of s, that is the error signal E of s will be equal to, we know that it is R of s minus, the signal here is uh, C of s into H of s, okay, the output is C of s, so C of s into H of s will be the signal, so R of s minus C of s into H of s, and uh, uh, we know that the C of s, C of s can be written as this E of s into G of s, C of s will be E of s into G of s, that we are going to substitute in this equation instead of the c of us we are substituting e of us into g of us here and uh, uh, after that we are just uh, rearranging and uh, find the value of e of us okay that is after rearranging we will get the value of e of us as r of us divided by 1 plus g of us into h of us that is our error signal okay error signal will be equal to r of us by 1 plus g of us into h of us okay and for finding the uh, error signal okay in time domain okay this is the actually in s domain so for finding the signal in time domain we have to take the laplace inverse okay so e of t will be equal to laplace inverse of e of s that is l inverse of r of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s okay so that is the error signal actual error signal and here the steady state error that is e s s steady state error is denoted as e suffix s s steady state okay ESS. So the steady state error uh, can be defined as the value of E of t. That is the value of this one. Okay. E of t. The value of E of t when time t tends to infinity. That is the equation for ESS can be written as limit t tends to infinity E of t. Okay. That is the value of E of t when time t tends to infinity. Okay. And uh, uh, we can use the final value theorem of Laplace transform here. Uh, the final value theorem is this. Okay, so by applying the final value theorem in this equation, okay, we can also write the equation as that is uh, ES equal to limit t tends to E of t, which will be equal to okay, based on this uh, final value theorem, which will be equal to limit s tends to 0 s into E of s. Here, actual theorem says uh, in the terms of f. There is f of t and f of s here it is e that's the only difference okay so limit t tends to infinity e of t is equal to limit test tends to zero s into e of s okay and if you are substituting the value of e of s here okay that is the e of s this is the value of e of s so limit test tends to zero s into e of s so the steady state error ess can be find using the equation limit test tends to zero s into e of s means r of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s so s into r of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s so this is the actual uh, steady state error 